OK, tell me a bit about the film first. I mean, you seem to be popping up in films all over the place mm. at the moment, but this is a kind of fashion film, is it? It is. It is. It's more of a campaign. This was a lot of fun, to be honest. OK, three times there you've knocked down your ability as an actor. Mm. However, you've made a cameo appearance in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. You're going to be in Knights of the Round Table, and there are all sorts of voices clamouring for you mm. to put yourself up for the next Bond. I know, I heard that the other day. I've definitely not been contacted. I'm definitely not... Um, obviously up for doing something like that, but um, it's nice to be linked, I suppose. Uh, can you do a Sean Connery voice? Definitely not. Can Definitely you do not. a Roger Moore eyebrow? Definitely not. Well, maybe I can. I don't know. I don't know how to... I don't know. <laughs> maybe. It's like being in the room with him. <laughs> um, so when you're in uh, Guy Ritchie's Knights of the Round Table, which I think is coming out next year, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You've got how many lines in it? Um, more than I wanted, to be honest. Uh, Guy, had, we, uh, I was down at his house and we were having a glass of wine and he said, you know, maybe you should, you know, play, you know, because Man From U.N.C.L.E. went so well, you know, a word here and there, but it was like 11 or 12 lines. And I was like, this is going to be a real challenge. But um, it went well. Uh, it went really well on, on the day and uh, I enjoyed it. We heard Victoria say the other day that when Harper told her that she wants to play football, it was like a dagger to the heart. <laughs> was it completely different for you here? Uh, oh, it was the best thing I'd ever heard. It was the best thing I have ever heard. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it was. And obviously, I've bought her football kits over the years as well. And as soon as she comes down and says, Mummy, look, playing football the other day, and she had, like, a really pretty dress on and then a pair of pink, pink football boots. Um, which I then sent Victoria the video. So again, you know, I think that was also a, a dagger in her heart. But uh, oh, but you don't mind. I love it's, it. It's what I you love want. it. I love it. She, but Victoria's like, please, just let me have. You know, we've had, we've got four children. Three of them are boys. All love football. Please, just let me have one. That Do the kids like watching you act as opposed to watching you play? They much rather watch me on the field, but. I think they enjoy when I go and do cameos and when I do certain things. Well, it's lovely to see you. You Great are a cool you dad. Too. You're a very Thank cool you. interviewee as well. It's blinking hot under it these very lights. Hot. Though, isn't I'm it? not surprised. You've got an amazing dress on. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have worn the T-shirt. <laughs> anyway, lovely to see lovely you to as see ever. You too. Thank you very much, David. Pleasure. What? The room was hot. You've got an amazing dress. Hang on a minute. We've met before. We, yeah. I consider him a friend now. Do you? I definitely he's got an do. eye for fashion, hasn't he? He has. And a dress. Yeah. And a girl. And, well, his wife, obviously, is, is doing these amazing dresses all the time. Mm. I thought I'd better wear something that sort of, you know, befits the occasion when you're interviewing a fashion icon who knows all about You were nothing but fashion. professional, but I'm weirdly still bitter. There <laughs> you go. What was that experience like? It would be... Their ambassador is something that makes me obviously very, very proud of it. The experience was fantastic, but I have to say that I am a bit of a frustrated ambassador because I think I did, I did nothing compared with uh, what I should do.